Okay. Um, apparently, uh, back when I posted my Doki Doki Green Day Club picture, um, to the Green Day Amino, a friend, well, someone who was in the Amino and I, kind of came up with the idea of having sort of multiple endings if it sort of becomes a mod. Like, during Act 3, but I sort of want to expand on that. During Act 3, you'll be locked in a room with Mike, or in the game, Mikeika. And, well, I'll just sort of let the picture sort of do the talking. Man, it's so nice having you here, finally. All to myself. I thought you were getting a little too attached to the other three. I don't really get as much love as all of them. Jason with his underratedness, Billy being the sex god he is, and Trey being the lovable goofball. For me, I'm just seen as the tough guy, you know? And the thing is, he... Uh, god, crap, um, he... oh god. Everything's falling apart in this video already. Um... Just... I don't know how you'd really get him to stop talking on and on like how Monica does. Um... But... I guess it'd be, like, maybe by deleting him, like you would do with Monica. Because at most, this would be a mod, not an actual game. I think, uh, we'd get slapped in the face with, uh, copyright issues if we, uh, <laughs> if we did that. So it'd have to be a mod, for sure. But yeah, basically, you'd be locked in the room, like, with Monica, blah, blah, blah. It's ba it'd basically kind of be like a reskin mod with, the. Uh, a few different changes with names and such. And yeah, but then I sort of got the idea. In the real Doki Doki Literature Club game, Sayori automatically becomes uh, the new president after you delete Monica. But what? But then I got another idea. What if the girl you try to please the most or guy in the game, being Trey, Billy, or Jason, became the president. That sort of sprung an idea that there would be three different endings, but they'd all sort of end the same with um, Mike sort of deleting the game or something, you know? So without further ado, I present you the three endings I sort of came up with out of nowhere. So, for Trey's ending, I'm thinking that he won't automatically tell you that he's become sentient in the game, like Billy and Jason do it. Or in the normal game where Siori's just like, Yep, I've become sentient! Ha 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 ha! Yay, now we're forever! Instead, Trey sort of keeps it a secret, and it only at night time will he just sort of haunt you. Not by saying he's sentient or anything. No, 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 no. So here you are, sleeping out your peaceful days, on your bed, yay, blah, blah, blah. And then you just hear, just sort of the faintest, not, lo not loud to startle you, but... Wait, no, not as quiet that you can't hear it, but loud enough so you wake up. She is my drama queen. She is red and reckless. So you just slowly kind of look up, even though the music note kind of signifies it's coming from here. But you know, sc screw it. We, I can do what I want. This is my channel. I'll do what I please. So you look up and you just see. Okay. The thing is. Every night, you just hear that little We need a drama queen He or she's my bed and necklace Every night Just that same song every night haunting you for the rest of your days He doesn't admit he's sentient He's just on your ceiling singing that song to you as you attempt to go to sleep You never can You're left becoming an insomniac thanks to this man You're welcome Anyways, 
you'll both be happy that you're in the same sort of song lyric club because we can't use poems because that's copyrighted, baby, baby, baby. And, well, since Green Day's more associated with music, I just thought that'd be better. Anyway, so you'd both be very, very happy until Billy just sort of gives you these headphones. They seem very snazzy and all, but that's when it all goes downhill. They then just suddenly kind of get duct taped to your head, and they can never be removed, no matter what you do. They can never be removed. It's magic duct tape. That's why it looks so weird. And then all you hear is just... You immediately recognize the sound. It's friggin' Troublemaker. And it's the only song you'll heal, you'll, you'll hear for the rest of your life. As you just hear... Wanna be a troublemaker in the back of your head for the rest of your life. No longer will you hear anything else but just Wanna be a troublemaker. <laughs> oh god, this is getting kinda of dark. Anyway, last ending. Jason really doesn't do anything. He just doesn't release Quattro. And that kinda of leaves you a bit sad and dissatisfied, but... You know what, the trilogy was quote de la quote bad enough that it didn't need a fourth part or whatever. So you're somewhat ha like, you have conflicting feelings on how you feel about not releasing Quattro and, uh... It's, it just sort of leaves you in a mo- in, in a- in a- What are vowels? <laughs> um, it just sort of leaves you in a- in a- an emotional state of, is this good? Is this bad? I don't know anymore. Jason, why do you do this? Jason, please. And you may or may not find a tentacle and manga book here and there. Maybe some Boku no Piku. <laughs> uh, Sudis. I don't know. It's up to the game's RNG to decide if you get those or not. Just warning you.